Hey everybody, Kyle from Berkshire Worms. Today we're gonna make an ACT or aerated compost tea. Um, real simple one, we're doing a cup of our worm castings, some C90 for a mineral supplement, kelp meal as a microbe food, and it's also another good source of trace minerals. Uh, alfalfa meal is another good microbe food. And this is our FPJ or fermented plant juice. I'm using this as our sugar source and I add this at the very end, like a few hours before giving the tea. So I'll stir up the tea just with what I stirred this up with. So I'll give it a little bit of sugar, but I'm not gonna like pour much in. Um, we also have an air pump and a little aquarium heater. I just use that to keep it at like 75 degrees. Um, Otherwise it's like 60 in our basement and it would be too cold. We wouldn't get much action. So one cup, I have um, two gallons of water. You can do a quarter cup to a half cup of really good worm compost. This is just out of our worm bin. It's all finished. Uh, there's really nothing better for plants than <laughs> fresh worm compost. I'm not doing a tea bag. It's just, it seemed like kind of an unnecessary step. This is, we're just trying to extract the microbes out of our compost and multiply them. So the tea bag just kind of makes it a bit of a pain to clean. So this takes a little work out of it. And normally I go by a, a recipe, but that's for our 25 gallon brewer. We're just making two gallons. It's winter time. So it's just for some house plants. So the C90 is an awesome source of trace minerals um, for two gallons. Basically like a half a teaspoon is all you need. It'll dissolve a little bit, provide a little good, or a little bit of mineral supplementation to your plants. Kelp meal is good. Microbe food, another good source of trace minerals for your plants. There's also water soluble kelp, which is a little bit different from kelp meal. That dissolves directly in the water. And that has a whole bunch of really good applications for your plants that I recommend. So just like a little sprinkle of the kelp meal. You want to also go easy on kelp. Um, kelp can be an accumulator of heavy metals. I don't know about this company, Down to Earth is awesome. I, I imagine as far as kelp goes, it's good kelp. Alfalfa meal, another really good microbe food. I think it's got good nematodes in it. I haven't looked at any alfalfa meal under the microscope yet. But just a sprinkle. I'm gonna drop in my heater. Summertime you don't have to worry about it, but wintertime it's good to Keep your water between 72 and 78 degrees. sugar source, basically what sticks to my stir stick. If you add a lot of sugar at the very beginning of the process, there's a much higher risk of your tea being just full of like too much bacteria and some of that can be bad. One of the drawbacks of teas is the, the diversity of bacteria you're cultivating is a good thing but it's also its main drawback. You don't necessarily know exactly what's in your compost tea. There could be some bad stuff, theoretically. Now we've given, I, I don't know, I don't know how many teas we've brewed, hundreds, and we've never had a bad experience given aerobically activated compost tea. Um, but the potential is certainly there for bad stuff to happen, especially if you're using compost you're not familiar with. 
could have a whole bunch of anaerobic bacteria in it. You don't know what the inputs were, so. I feel good about this because it's my compost. I know everything that went into it, how it was made, and I've used it a lot. <laughs> the anecdotal evidence is there for me, even though the scientific evidence isn't quite there yet for compost teas. Um, so I'm going to brew this for 24 hours. You can go up to 48, but I definitely don't recommend going longer than 48, 48 hours. It's just the benefits there after 24 hours. You're not going to get any better of a tea after four or 24 hours. So make sure you use it immediately. Don't don't let it sit on the shelf for a few days or anything. Use it within 24 hours. Ideally, use it the second you pull your air stone and heater out of there. Um, so that's all for now. We're going to set it for 24 hours, and I can show you how I filter it out and give it tomorrow.